Hi guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. A barb inspired look get into it got dressed on with full brows and hooded eyes so i'm going to be showing you guys how i did her makeup with those blessings let's go don't forget to like comment and subscribe and Sub share so today i'm here with <laughs> i'm here on you today so i'm going to be beating her face she has full brows so i'm going to make use of that let's get into the video so today I'm going to be trimming my girl's eyebrows. So um, first things first, you need to brush the hair up. Then I trim the edges of the hair that's too long. Then I also go to the bottom and trim the excess hair and trim it from the roots. Then I brush the hair down. Then trim it to the shape I want. All I do is keep brushing and trimming, brushing and trimming. And I trim mainly from the roots when I'm trying to like remove the whole strand of hair. Take a look at the difference, period. Like, what slate on period? Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? A bad bitch in the making. It's not for me to say. So now that I'm done with her brows, the next thing is to fill in her brows with my Essence Pencil. So I'm going to be using my Pizzoli's base for her brows today. I actually have a 10 minute eyebrow tutorial on my channel. I'm going to put it on top of the screen, so check that out if you're interested. So now that I'm done with her brows, I'm just going to prep her eyelids for eyeshadow by applying my Pee-Wee's base on her eyelids. Then I'm going to go in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation and just pat it into the concealer. The first place I'm going to be using is the Abmerzy Palette. I'm going to go in with my Transition Colors. Then I'm going to go in with a brown warm tone just for the edges. That's like my go-to color to be honest. Like I don't know what it is about it but I really like the warm warm edges look or whatever. I initially wanted to go for a pink matte look but she told me she wanted a shimmery look so I had to add some shimmer to it. So I went in with my ABH Amazi palette. Then I went in with the Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows in number 4. It's not for me to say you love. It's not for me to say you love. Now that I'm done with the eyeshadow, it's time for the eyeliner. I decided to do the or attempt the Nikki liner. I noticed that Nikki Jai does the thick eyeliner with the inner corner cat eye liner. So tell me in the comments if I did a good job or I tried because I don't know. I don't know. I'm not satisfied with how it came out, but like it's it's alright. Now I'm just going to use concealer to conceal the liner, make it sharp, make it snatch, you know the vibe. I'm going in with my baby skin primer. So now I'm using my foundation to cover the concealer so that like everything blends as you can see. You know the vibes? I basically paint your face honestly. I like it when it's full coverage so. So I apply the foundation downwards because it makes all the face hairs lay flat on your skin. This also like contributes to your skin looking flawless when you apply foundation. I use my ultimate blending brush from e.l.f. to blend out the foundation. I use it for almost all my blending. Now I'm going in with my Born This Way concealer for the under eye for the highlighting of the face. 
I also applied the concealer on top of her lip, on her nose bridge, her forehead, and on her chin. It's not for me now it's time to contour. So I'm going to apply the concealer underneath her cheekbone, behind her brows, on her forehead, just to reduce her forehead size. Apparently she doesn't like it, but me, I like forehead. Apply it directly underneath her cheekbone and on her jawline. I'm going to go back with my e.l.f. blending brush. This is the brush I use to blend out almost everything. So like, this brush to me is a very good investment and it's only $4. When blending, I use the stippling method. This is just tapping in the concealer into your skin. This is just tapping the concealer in place and not rubbing. When you rub the concealer, this reduces the coverage of the concealer. So all you want to do is tap it into your skin and blend it in place. To get a very defined contour, I use a flat brush to apply my concealer. Then I use the edge of my blending brush to blend it out. To further sculpt my nose, I went back with the concealer on the bridge of my nose to make sure it was very bright. To set my under eye, I went in with the Huda Beauty powder. I just used the same stippling method and pat it into the concealer until it looks dry. When it looks dry, you know that the concealer is set and it won't crease. Anywhere that looks creamy needs to look dry. At least that's how I know how to explain it. Then I used a dry sponge to apply the baking powder on her under eye and on her nose. When it is dry, it picks up the powder more and it applies it seamlessly on your skin. So now I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty bronzer in Mocha Mami. I actually apply bronzer as if I'm applying blush. So yeah, I apply it on her cheeks. Then I also contour her nose with it with a fluffy brush. I went back in with the brown shade in the Amrezi palette to further contour her cheekbones. There's this color that I just found on the Morphe palette that I've been using for blush, so that's the color. Whenever I do a very bright under eye, I always go back in with my MAC face powder just to tune it down. So if you've been following me for a while now, you know that I like bright lip look, so I always overline lips. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now, and I use my foundation to clean up the liner. Then I go in with my highlighter, I use a very small brush to apply my highlighter because I feel like it makes it more defined. It's not for me to say. So today for her lips, I'm going in for a very bubblegummy type lip gloss. So I went in with my Simani Collection lip gloss in Soso -so and added the Estate lip gloss to like blend it all in. So yeah. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe! <laughs> <laughs> this guy's 
a view of that so okay thank you guys for clicking this video don't forget to subscribe if you got this far in this video comment hashtag bar bar b a r b, b. period <laughs> <laughs> so if you got this far comment hashtag barb hope you liked it do you want more videos on other people like what do you want tell me in the comments